Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Snapdragon and this video is just a quick beginner's guide to gathering and crafting in Bless Unleashed. Starting off, gathering is relatively simple. You don't need to purchase any tools. You can begin gathering immediately once you reach the mainland after the tutorial sequence. You can chop trees, which are indicated by the leaf on the mini-map. You can gather herbs, which are indicated by the blades of grass on the mini-map. You can mine for ore, which is indicated by the gem on the mini-map. And then you'll be killing enemies, which drop cloth, leather, and meat. What items you can gather is dependent on your location, so you'll be gathering lumios root, iron ore, thin branches, and stringy meat in the beginning areas from Karzakor to the Null Wastes. Once you reach Tristeza around level 19, give or take a few, you'll start being able to mine silver ore, chop flexible branches, pick mushrooms, and kill goats for tough meat. Whilst you are gathering, you might find some uncommon and rare items, such as unripe fruit when chopping trees in the lower level areas, or perhaps a ruby when mining for ore. If you are planning on being a master crafter, these items will take up space in your inventory, so maybe consider storing them and or using them as often as possible. If you aren't planning on being a master crafter, gathered items usually sell for pretty good prices on the marketplace. Crafted items can be very helpful in this game. For instance, you can use alchemy to craft recovery potions, and cooking comes in handy when eating lunch at a pyre or just snacking while out in the field. You can level each crafting profession to level 10. As you gain expertise in the different crafting professions, you will unlock new recipes. You can also find recipes as drops, or even get a few recipes from NPCs and the Artisan Union. Some crafting recipes require soul fragments that you obtain when defeating the various field bosses. You can farm for these in some cases, they really aren't that uncommon. Now, let's take a look at each of the crafting stations. You can find them in any major city and even in some of the encampments, such as the amphitheater in the beginning area. Starting with alchemy, this is how you're going to craft your various recovery potions. You're also going to be able to craft elixirs, which provide you with various buffs for a certain period of time, generally 30 minutes. In order to craft these elixirs, you are going to need to purchase an empty bottle. You can find these empty bottles at any general goods merchant, which you can usually find in the major cities and even some of the various encampments. Next up, we have cooking, which you can do at any of the various soul pyres across the map. You can cook lunch boxes, and these are just meals that you eat out of combat while you're in the field or even when you're sitting at a soul pyre trying to uh, regain your HP. Each of them has a different effect. They can store various amounts of HP over a series of seconds. And then you also have various hot pots and some other meals that you get to share at the soul pyre with your various comrades. This is a good point to bring attention to the fact that you can do mass crafting if you, for instance, need to make a large amount of potions or a large amount of lunch boxes. Mass crafting is fairly easy. I generally do it when I'm trying to cook. You just press Y when you are in the crafting screen. Next up, we have the shaping workbench. This is where you would craft armor for the ranger, for instance. Notice that I have it pretty low level right now, so that means I can show you how when you level up your expertise, it adds more recipes for you to be able to craft. Also notice that when you hover over a different item, it shows you how much experience along that bottom bar that you're gonna get put towards your XP for crafting that item. Next up, we have the Enchanter's Wheel. This is where you're gonna craft armor for the priest and the mage. Notice again that that yellow bar down at the bottom when it turns yellow, that's the experience that that crafted item will put towards my expertise. The white is the experience that I've already gained towards that level. I also want to point out again that every once in a while, you're gonna find a recipe that requires a soul fragment you gather these from the various field bosses out in the world. They're pretty easy to farm in most cases. In some cases, they might be rather uncommon or a little more rare. 
Next up, we have the Blacksmith's Forge. This is where you're gonna craft armor for the Crusader and the Berserker. Again, I'm rather low level here, primarily because I haven't had a need to craft this type of armor. So you're gonna see that as I level up, new recipes are gonna be unlocked for me. If there is something that you need to craft, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be unlocked as you level up that expertise in the various professions. In some cases, you are gonna have to find the recipe perhaps as a drop, or you might have to find it on the marketplace, or perhaps an NPC is gonna give it to you. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this game, I really hope that this helped you get started in your master crafting career. Please watch some of my other videos. I have a tips and trick video. I also have a video that shows you how to get over any of the level walls that this game throws at you. I hope that they help you guys out a lot, especially if you are new to the game, because this is a really great game. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.